week 16. Holy shit. I can't believe it. No more Season's football. almost over. Yeah. Two we, weeks left of fantasy. We got to start thinking about um <laughs> what we're going to be doing in the offseason soon because that's – Play some bets on basketball. I would say we could do other sports. We're definitely going to be a basketball show. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. I got Jalen Brunson's over today. If hockey heats up, we'll get into <laughs> hockey. Oh. Anthony can hop in. Yeah, I'll switch. I'll produce that one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So with that being said, let's go ahead and spread the bread. Let's go over uh, the spread records on the season up to date right now. And put it in reverse. Yeah, last week I switched it up. I went from best to worst. But we're going to go back to the old model. Worst. To first. Ooh. Brother Brand still sitting at the bottom. 101 mm. and 108 and no, 7. Oh, that's, that's getting bad, dude. You got to finish out even or better. He actually had a decent week this week. Okay. Okay, I see you. Probably one of the I think best. I think we all had a decent week. We all, you know, we all did. Yeah, but like decent, but like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a couple, there was a couple pushes. Push. Then you got me. I'm sitting at 117, 92, and 8. Lastly, so at the top, you got Donnie over there, sitting at 126, 85, and 5. Up and stay up, Yerd. You slipped a little bit this week. Yeah, just a couple. Just a little bit. Actually, one, two, uh, three. Hey, how about them Cowboys? Seven, seven L's on the board for Donnie. Whoa. That normally don't happen. No. And a push. His, well, that was his fifth one <laughs> of the season. One, two, three. Hey, I, hey Donnie, don't don't slip up, bro. Uh, you know I ain't slipping up. I caught two dubs last Monday. I was lit. Yeah, up until this week. I think they were double alone. But then tonight, uh, to cap yeah. off week 15, I'm lone wolfing the Eagles. I don't know how this happened, <laughs> but we're here. They going into Seattle. Be Adam. And Jalen Hurts has a I don't know, uh, Monday night. Illness. I don't Jaylen know. Jalen Hurts has, and it's Monday night, and it's gonna be loud in Seattle. The twelves is coming out. Woo. DK standing on business. Come on. <laughs> I actually got. A, you want to hear my? Seattle par- winning this game. You want to hear my parlay tonight? I got. Yeah, go I, ahead. Got, I got two. Of them. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So the one I got. Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown. Yep. I put that in before I knew he was playing, by the way, too. I like so it. So I kind of got that at good odds. Mm-hmm. Scary. And then the under 45 and a half. That's it? That's the whole part of it? I got two layers. So that I was, like that. That was the first one. I like that one. And the second one, I got the Ole Miss parlay. The former old Mississippi receivers. Old oh, buddies. The beasts. A.J. Brown and D.K. Metcalf to get in the end zone tonight. Let's go. Fire. I mainly did that because of fantasy purposes, too. But A.J. Oh, you good. Speaking of staying on business, I didn't think the fun guy league Buffalo Beach was going to be in winning position, but look how that worked out, huh? Yeah, anyway. they're, they're trying to throw a curveball. Don't be surprised if it's... Thursday night. <laughs> Big playoff implications in this one. For what? The NFC. Hmm? We got the New Orleans Saints heading over to L.A. to take on the Rams. Oh, okay. Cool. Where the Rams are four-and-a-half point favorites. Who wants to start this week? Me. Okay, I'm, I'm taking ooh, the throne this week. Ooh, okay. I think you did last ooh, week, and I usually yeah. go first. So, Yeah, I got the Rams. Uh, Matthew Stafford keeps his thing rolling here. You want to go down the line? I got the Rams. Rams. Yeah. Who's house? Rams. Rams house? Rams house. house. That's the thing? Okay. Yeah, I remember I got confused last week. I was like, Rammed up? No. That sounds good, though. Right. Ram's house? Rammed up. Jagging off. That one I like. No. <laughs> don't, don't, don't combine them. <laughs> when you combine them like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. I'm rammed up. <laughs> if you want to be rammed up, go to Redcon and get yourself an energy drink. <laughs> Go get yourself some Redcon, the fastest growing supplement company in the United States of America. Which is basically the universe. Click the link in our description. <laughs> yeah, basically. 
Basically. Click the link in our description. Head over to Redcon. Get 20% off your purchase. Get energized. Goodness. Standing on. We got a special Saturday. Slate oh, my gosh. Can we stop with the Saturday games? Why don't you like them? You're a I hater. Want, I want to know. You don't set. like football. I like football. I like setting my eight or nine fantasy lineups at 1230 on Sunday. I don't want to set them on Saturday at 1 o'clock, Saturday at 5 o'clock, Sunday at 1 o'clock, Sunday at 5 o'clock, Christmas morning, Christmas night, Thursday, New Year's Eve, all the days. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not Adam Schefter, Okay. Now Sorry, I got Najee in my lineup with one point because I'm like, boom. Well, why the hell are you starting Najee? Well, I thought he had more vision than he did. He needs a lace. Well, let's see what, what vision you got for these picks. We got the Cincinnati Bengals on the road to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers. The Mason Rudolph Steelers. Mm, Jesus. Now, if, beginning of the season, if I would have told you, um, yeah, week 16 we're going to have Jake Browning and the Cincinnati Bengals take on – uh, Mason Rudolph and the Pittsburgh Steelers with playoff implications on the line. What would you have said? I would have said the Bengals are probably three and twelve, and the Steelers are probably eight and six. <laughs> I think I agree with them. Okay, because I would be like, oh, the Steelers are probably going to still be in the playoff on somehow. Oh, the Steelers don't lose, right? They don't lose. Well, the Bengals are two and a half point favorites, and the Steelers are two and a half point dogs. As they should be. I got Cincinnati Bengals. The Steelers ain't playing for nobody there. Uh, locker room looks like they're lost. Um, and after giving up a 13 nothing lead and losing 30-13. to 13, That's bad. I don't know. That place is falling apart, man. I, I hate to see it, by the way. I, I hate to see it. Other than this past weekend, I love to see it. But any other time <laughs> than that, any other time than that, I, I'd be liar. You hate to see it, was it? Stillers. I was kind of high on them to see. Mm. Preseason, they looked like they're going to be one of the most electrifying offenses in the league. And they were the exact opposite. They yeah. Canada, you did. They got you. Yeah, they did. Anyways, we're going with the Bengals. Yeah, give me the Bengals. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Let's go. Sure. Blitzburg Bengals, baby. What? And then uh, streaming on Peacock. Jeez, like, come on, dude. Buffalo, well. You know there was a game on Paramount the bro, other day? Was there? Yeah, I don't even know what that is. As NFL growing, man. But don't worry. If y'all <laughs> from the Buffalo area, it will be available on local cable station. I ain't got it. Because a lot of people have been complaining about that. Joking. What the hell's Peacock? Yeah, I'm not watching nothing on Peacock, dog. Peacock, good. I got my little app. $10. You get the whole world of TV. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bills heading over to SoFi Stadium to take on the Chargers. Um, the schedule makers definitely thought there was going to be something on the line here. <laughs> um, but there's playoff implications on the line for the Bills. They're 11-point favorites. It's been a long time since I said that. Nah, well, plus 10. Chargers yeah. are 11-point puppies. Give me the Billy. I got to pick. Oh, I, see, I'm not used to See, you were looking. I thought you wanted someone else to do it, so I got you. Ah, shit. Yeah. I, even, yo, even though, like I mentioned earlier, interim coach Bro, game uh, is undefeated Don't against the like him. Well, you should thank him because he picked the Cowboys. Last. He's sacrificing for y'all, man. He did. Yeah. So I'm going to have to either pick a stick two weeks in a row. Then. Yeah, I got it, It's. – I'd be a dummy not to pick a, the Bills here. There's no way. They're they're really getting this thing wrong. I think they're back, man. Yeah, Ken Dorsey's not coming back. If the Raiders got 63. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're going to hit 80. I, I don't know. That's, that's just <laughs> It's on the table. It's on the 80? table. 80? Yeah. 80. I saw a 350-pound man take it back 55 yards off. <laughs> yo, he took, yo, he hit the Jets. It took him 25 minutes to get in that end zone. <laughs> so easy to say. I'm Bro, they clocked no, nah, they clocked him at 17 miles an hour. He was moving. That's just crazy, bro. <laughs> you kidding me? Yo, did you, did you see the other pick six? No. Go ahead, tell me. It's probably. Oh, that one was sick. One of the coolest interceptions I've ever seen. He hit the 360. He, he <laughs> first off, he overran it. Was behind him, one handed, took off to the Jets and looked back at him, just stared him down. Mark Davis said, <laughs> <laughs> "We all got the bills. Or are you sacrificing again? Oh, what well, with the bills? Right. Sacrifice. So if they don't cover the nah. spread, we know why. Yep. Let's head over to the Sunday slate. 
We got the red hot Indianapolis Colts. Gardner Minshew Mania is running oh, so wild. This is where he just be picking the teams in random ass orders. They're in a different order. We went through this. We went through Bro. this. <laughs> I'm on the same app. It's the, on the computer. I don't know why they do that. The Colts <laughs> are on the road to take on the now Taylor Heineke led Atlanta Falcons. He's back. Oh, he's back now. He should have been never gone. That might, he, he ended up being hurt. That was that why might change my answer. Colts are two and a half point favorites. Falcons two and a half point dogs. I got. <laughs> Colts, what are we talking about? Give me hot Atlanta. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Lone Wolf in the car. Big Heineke fan. Yeah, Heineke, I watched Heineke versus Colts before. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> that was something. Yeah. He, he about to break out his blue Jordan. It's a new year, brother. <laughs> hey, listen, ain't nobody on the Colts betting against the Colts this year. That's the difference. Like hmm. What? Isaiah Rogers. Ain't nobody on the Colts betting against the Colts. Oh, because he no was Calvin betting. Ridley's? Oh, is, I, is Isaiah Rogers? You don't remember? He got suspended for gambling. Yeah, remember uh, he Schefter was betting. Was like, it's a he's on the Eagles. Remember guy. he was betting. A, he was literally oh, betting no, against guy. his own team. And I would too if I was him. He had Jeff Saturday at the helm. <laughs> Jeff Zara said, was betting against him. He said, "Oh yeah, there ain't no damn way we gonna win this game." <laughs> he took the money line. But that's a different case this year. <laughs> you think he gets ESPN bet for free? Everybody gets it for free, dude. I saw a Saints fans saying they were signing up on FanDuel. Well, they can't bet, you jackass. Oh, Jeff Saturday? No. I was going to say he could bet now. Isaiah Rogers. He can't, bro. That's why I said, never mind. He can't even bet. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's my point. You're trying to get guys in trouble? That's my joke, dude. Come on. Go to the next game. You Saints ruined fans. It. You ruined it. Saints fans were, because uh, I don't know why I'm on the Saints Twitter algorithms, but they're signing up on FanDuel. <laughs> As I don't even like them. <laughs> They're signing up on FanDuel as at I'm Derek Carr at gmail.com or whatever. <laughs> Trying to get James in there. Yo, they heard yeah. you looked like him. So let's, get, let's, like we need so let's get in this algo. So they probably picked me over Derek Carr at this point. We got the Seattle Seahawks on the road uh, to take on Tennessee Titans. There's, there's uh, this no line spread. will probably change like we always say, depending on what happens here on Monday night. Seattle Seahawks are two and a half point favorites. Uh, Tennessee Titans two and a half point. Give me Seattle. I believe. All right, I guess I'm not picking first. Oh uh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I got the Seahawks. <laughs> House is uh, crumbling over in Tennessee. What are you, you doing? About the only ten you see. <laughs> I thought you made a pick. Yeah, it's, it's Seattle. I was just joking. All right, two and next and a half. up, Seattle. Detroit Lions. Seattle. Lion. <laughs> They're on the road to take on the Vikings, where the Lions are ooh, three point favorites. Vikings is a three point dog. That's it. Yeah, I got the Lions. We did the, we did this shit against. Them. Yeah. Even though, oh yeah, we picked we picked the Broncos last week. God, we didn't even talk about that. Who picked the Broncos? Me and brother Brown. Mm. Yeah. Should know better. I got the Lions. I'm back on the Lions. Yeah, Lions. <laughs> Why are you I'm, always lying? Mm, you know, I don't even know who plays quarterback for the Vikings anymore. Nick Mullins. Jeez, yeah, like he's terrible. Another guy that you said was a Niners legend, but is also on a different team. It would look, hey, you put Bert Purdy on the Vikings. He looks just like Nick Mullins right now, probably. Probably not. Commanders <laughs> on the road in uh, MetLife Stadium take on the Jets. Is Danny DeVito playing? This would probably be a oh. bla- this would probably be a blackout game if you're in uh, <laughs> the, the New Jersey market. I'm not even going to address wrong, what Donnie just wrong said. Wrong one. Uh, might as well be. Uh, <laughs> no one wants to see this. The Jets are three point favorites. Jets are three point favorites after, at home after scoring zero points last week. Versus who? The Commanders. Yeah. The, it. Jacoby Brissett, Sam Howell don't matter. I'll take the Commanders to cover, please, and thank you. I agree. I'm going to take the Commanders. But Is I Zach don't think Wilson playing or what? Probably not. He, bro. He, did you see those pictures? He got laid the fuck out. Twice. The smack Don. <laughs> Poor guy. Give me Washington, I guess. <laughs> Wait, at home? How do we do it again? Left hand. What do I do with my hand? Left. I haven't. Yo, hold up. We got to make this special because I don't. We haven't done this in a while, and we're probably not going to do it again. Never Fair again. <laughs> Those haters can't stand us. Left, Left hand, hand up. up. Who, Who are, are we? we? The, the commanders. commanders. Yeah. 
Might have been the last time. Oh, yeah. No, for real. Yo, take that shit in. They have the Niners and the Cowboys. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah, wrong. this is the last time. Well, I'll probably pick them against the Niners. Next yeah. up, we got the Green Bay <laughs> Packers. <laughs> On the road. You could see right here it says you get tickets as low as $35, but I don't believe that. You could probably get them at 50 cents. They're in Carolina take on the Panthers. We're the uh, Packers. Four and a half point favorites. Panthers four and a half point dogs. Nice. I got hmm. Let's pick Carolina this to cover last. This one's week. tricky, yeah. And you pick Carolina? It was nine to seven. You yeah. you, you lone wolf the Falcons. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you, you would lost. Think. You lost, fool. Desmond Ritter's trying to hit three sixty spin throws Shout in the red to zone. The field goal kickers, man. <laughs> I got the Packers. Bounce yeah. back. Yeah, no way they're bad against the Panthers, right? If they do, sheesh. You know, so the coordinators we've been, everyone, like the fan base of any team has been calling a good fire. Just started off with Matt Canada. Yep. Gone. Then it was Ken Dorsey. Gone. Mm-hmm. And uh, from from the looks of it, they're calling for, um, I forget his name, but he's the defensive coordinator for the Packers. They're calling for his head. Mm. Fair, probably. Joe, yeah. Joe Barry. Joe Barry. Not Brady. Not Brady. Not Brady. Joe Barry, defensive coordinator for the Packers, because he's absolute garbage. Uh, they got nothing but first-rounders on the defense, nothing but all pros everywhere, and they still lo- and they lost to Tommy DeVito. Jerry Alexander's hurt. Sorry about it. He holds the whole team up. Nah, I don't know about that. Or Sean Gary. Gary. <laughs> but I got, the, I got the Packers. You pick the Packers? Yeah, I'll take the Packers. Can I switch my Jets one, though? I'll let you do it right now, yeah. I want the Jets. Just because I need to catch up to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we pick the same teams every time. We can't pick the same teams. It's one weird. of those weeks, man. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I mean, yeah. I here we go. We might switch up here. We got the Cleveland Browns on the road to take on the Texans. Or Deshaun Watson. I don't know if he'll be with the team for this one. Because uh, if he is, please keep him away from the clubs. <laughs> <laughs> or the massage parlors. Texans are two and a half point favorites. Browns, two and a half point dogs. I got the Houston Texans. Thank you very much. Give me the Browns. Mm. Who you got? Fuck them. I got the Texans. I think that building's going to be on another level, bro. Yeah. Just is. for that, just for the sole fact that they're going to buy tickets just to talk shit to them. E- even with Watson not playing, they're going to, yeah. Yeah. Don't matter. <laughs> Joe Flacco's playing quarterback, not the Sean Watson. Don't matter. Next up. Jacksonville Jaguars. Maybe they're gonna have Trevor Lawrence. Maybe not. Probably not. The books here are he su- looks fine. They're assuming that uh, he will be playing. I think he's gonna play. He said I got a chance to miss, miss my first game of my whole career. No, I don't think so. He's on the road, or they're on the road, take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Jags are one point favorites. I will take Baker Mayfield and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because they if. That's personal for you. Name me a little bit. Name me the last quarterback to have a perfect passer rating on Lambeau Field on that sacred ground. Hmm. Apparently no one. Probably can't. I can't think of nobody. I think it is nobody. Baker Mayfield's all the way back. He's got that offense rolling with Chris what? Godwin, Mike Evans, what? Rashad White, what? Kate Otten. What? I got the Bucks. You want to go or me? I'll go. Okay, go ahead. Let me put my blue cheese hat back on. Give me the Packers. I'm sorry, who's playing this game? <laughs> Packers? <laughs> I think you think of the last week's game. Who did play last week? Packers played the Bucks. Danny DeVito? All right, let's run this. Wait, from, what? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's run this from the top. <laughs> the Jaguars are on the road to take on the Buccaneers, where the Jags are one point favorites. <laughs> Awesome prayers. We the last, Donnie's mental. Bro, two games ago was the Packers, dude. What the fuck are you <laughs> Did they win or no? Who? Who covered? Did the Packers cover? Fuck no. <laughs> oh, whoa. Looks like I was going to get bamboozled again. <laughs> Give me the you Jags. Just, like, <laughs> again, I don't think you like football, bro. I don't care about the Jags. I don't get bit by nothing but the time. <laughs> Nothing but the tie. <laughs> Give the Jags. <laughs> so what's the reason then? Like, because you didn't even know they were playing in this game. <laughs> I, apparently, I just pick anybody but the Bucks. <laughs> I picked against the Bucks last week. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah you did. 
I'd like uh, to bet that I pick against the Bucks all the time. Some about Baker Mayfield just will not let me pick him. Okay. Uh, That's good enough, I guess. That's great. Brother Brent, who you got? Yeah, former Tampa boy yeah, coming home. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah? mm-hmm. oh, no. Donnie, Jama. you ready for this one? I, I'm interested to see where your mind is at for this one. Let's get into a Scared. mind of a and, Greg Jennings. And I'll let, I'll let you pick first on this one. Ooh. We got the Arizona Cardinals. Let's go. You know who I got. On the road to take on the Chicago Bears, where the Bears <laughs> are four-and-a-half-point favorites. Yeah, you just heard that, right? The Bears are four and a half point favorites. Yep. Versus the Cardinals. And the Bears are at home. Yep. <sighs> at Soldier Field, remember. Yeah. Dude, just, yeah. Wrigley. Wrigley. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kyle Murray coming off a game where um the other offense were putting points on the board, but it wasn't because they of scored him. a bunch. Twenty nine against four nine is crazy. Uh, I didn't watch that. Forty one or forty two pass attempts. I think he only completed like Less than half of that. Call of Duty and didn't even just come out. Barely 200 yards. Uh, give me the Cardinals. Four and a half is such a big number for the Bears who this, might this, never this score four and a half. Some games you don't even know if they're going to score four and a half. After last week's game, after that heartbreak, bro. Yeah, I feel like they're going to be sad. I got the Bears. Bear dog. Like the first time I can say this, or I have said this this season. Bear dog. Mm. Bear dog. Trust me, I'm not comfortable taking it. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Bears defense has been very good. Montez Sweat, big difference. Between there and the poop city. And the Browns are a lot better than the Cardinals. Whoa. I don't know yeah, about is that. that even a woe statement? I mean, Cardinals three and eleven, and the Browns is nine and five. What are we yeah, talking about? I don't know if they're way better than them. Yeah, way better. They Let's beat, not do this. One of them beat the Cowboys. That's cool. That's when. At, that's when the pastor now was fucking. That was taking, at home too. Taking off, yeah. That was that's in. Week, that was week two. That was in Dallas though. No. It was in Arizona. In Arizona. Mm-hmm. And then they couldn't find his jersey. And then they shipped them off. <laughs> to find this shit somewhere else, bitch. He said, yeah, go check their team store. <laughs> and they what took him out of that team store, too. A bear down. Bear down. Yeah. I did that whole bear down thing for nothing. The Dallas Cowboys coming off a fucking terrible loss. Getting smoked. They're heading down to South Beach to take on the Miami Dolphins. Yeah. Where the Dolphins are one and a half point favorites. I got... Miami Dolphin, Miami this Dolphin, Miami Dolphin, Miami Dolphin. Tyreek Hill's back. They're playing with a purpose. Raheem Mostert's going crazy. They Raheem Mostert seen what James Cook did to the Cowboys <laughs> this past weekend. So, oh shit, I could do that shit too. 72? And I think that's what we're going to see. Dolphins losing out. Give me Cowboys. <laughs> You don't just go get clapped 31-3 to three and then not bounce back at all. How about them Cowboys? Yeah. yeah Let's go Miami. <laughs> Sorry about it. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm getting Miami for the spread. Yeah, I, don't give, th- I don't think Cowboys going to be good. You give me a Stephen A. Smith uh, promo right here. Because you got the whole get up on. Yeah, and we should be on TV now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, no, I'm not going to do his voice. I'm just going to talk as me here, okay? We got the MVP, Dak Prescott, throwing for nothing. I don't even think he did anything that game. He did nothing. He said this, turn around, sack, what? Another turn around, offensive lineman, injured. Couldn't throw the ball. C.D. Lamb had one touchdown. It was a rushing touchdown, which is crazy. Oh, that must have been rushing no touchdown, one. even worse. Yeah, fuck him. Let's go Miami. Blasphemous. <laughs> Listen, they had Skip Bayless throughout his Micah Parsons jersey, which was – He did. Uh, you could definitely tell in that video it was his fourth try. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, Bro, he why do pressed. I know where his microwave is, like, stamped in my head now? I've seen him throw out so many jerseys. <laughs> you have. Definitely, yeah. That's his bit. microwave's in a cool spot. You know that? And then <laughs> – You know his microwave's in a cool spot, don't you? Wh- why – what? I have to tell you. Tell if you don't know. No, I don't. You don't know. You know, like, uh, 
You got yeah. an island at the house, you know, in the kitchen? Some houses got an island? I, yeah, I don't, but, yeah. Yeah, but, like, some well, I kind of do. Huh? Yeah, see? It's like yeah, a big old countertop, car. basically, all by itself. Island. Island. Like <laughs> Reva's Island. He's got his microwave in the island. It's weird, but I know this because I've watched him throw away 10 jerseys. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then uh, it looks like I'm double-checking this because uh, – Discount double-check? Is it the Packers? We got um, (laughs) primetime football. Since Saturday, NBC's running the show. This primetime game is on NFL Network. Primetime. And NBC probably seen this game was like, actually, y'all could have it. We got the New England Patriots on the road to take on the Denver Broncos in Broncos country. Where the Broncos are six-point favorites. Um... I got the New England Patriots to cover. Whoa. Give me the Broncos. Yeah, give me the Patriots. You said five and a half? Six. Six flat? Six flat. Just like that. Flat. Yeah, give me the Broncos. Right. Patriots defense is just solid. They're going to be tired up a mile high. They're going to have oh, bad oxygen. Yeah. Uh, don't matter. Still take the Patriots. Devontae Williams is going to score more than four fantasy points. We got a triple header for Christmas. See, look, like, bro, how am I going to set my – I'm in the fantasy playoffs with five teams. <laughs> how am I going to set all these teams on Christmas, bro? <laughs> Doing it in advance. Listen, open your presents, mm-hmm. then set up your lineup, yep. and then watch the fucking game, man. That's all it takes. You see what the NFL's doing now, though? Because NBA used to own Christmas. Then they messed around and put Christmas on a Monday. Sorry about it. Yeah. So to kick off Christmas, Christmas, we got the sixty-point scoring Las Vegas Raiders. Well, I probably ain't watching this game. Yeah, you are on the road to take on the Chiefs. Mm, okay, where the Chiefs are. <laughs> you got me. You'll get, you'll get this. So one week, the Raiders lose to the Vikings by three points and didn't score nothing. Three zero. But um, I forget who was. The favorite in that game, or whatever, but the spread there was three points. So regardless, they either covered or they got pushed. Uh, against the Chargers, instead of scoring zero points, they scored sixty-three of them. <laughs> Definitely covered spread. Close. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, sir. So this week they are ten-point underdogs mm. to Kansas City Chiefs on Christmas. On in cr- Kansas on City, Christmas. Yep. And, um, hey, the Kansas City Chiefs uh, got a push against the Patriots yesterday while the Patriots were 10-point underdogs. So the Pats covered the spread. And with that being said, (laughs) I can't believe I'm doing this. But do it. So I'm going to whisper it like this into the microphone. I got Aiden O'Connell and the Raiders covering 10 points against the Chiefs. Donnie, what do you think? What do you think right now? Because I could tell you you don't you don't want to bet tell, this game at all. Baby, Don, Donnie, Donnie, what picture did you just pull up? Give me the Chiefs, baby. What is that? Is that AI or is it real? That's real. Just zooming in on the <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Pat Mahomes on Christmas. Christmas morning. That's what he wants. Thank Give me the you, Chiefs. Referee. Oh, we weren't offsides, were you? Can you give me ten warnings, please? <laughs> Chiefs. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that was a one way to pitch it. <laughs> uh, give me the Raiders. Yeah, looks like I'll loan with the Chiefs any day of the week. That's crazy. This Unless ain't the same the Chiefs, man. It ain't gonna be the same Raiders you just saw. I tell you that. <laughs> How you know that? You sure? How you know that? <laughs> That's not Easton Stick back there. I mean, he's he ain't like the greatest ever, but he's well, not. Speaking Easton of not Stick. the greatest ever, we got Tommy DeVito <laughs> and the Giants on the road at the link to take on the Eagles. Pretty. How big is it? I want to. Eagles know, are ten take. and a half point favorites. <laughs> you thought it was gonna be more than that? I did think it was gonna be more than that, but I got the Eagles, no doubt about it. On uh, Christmas? Fly Eagles fly, yes. Yeah, on Christmas. 
Christmas is an old Italian holiday. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know if it's an old Italian holiday. But... <laughs> How's the family? Come on. Merry Christmas. Tommy, Danny. Your Donnie. mother, chicken colors. You make a chicken <laughs> colors on Christmas? Veal Parmesan. <laughs> Danny DeVito. Give me the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> Put my blue cheese hat on. Let's go. Blue cheese. Uh, Yo, so this is what this is what's gonna happen. So, uh, the Devito oh. family is gonna have the Christmas table set up with everything that you just said. They're all sauce and everything. Mm-hmm. It's all right, sweetie. Uh, we'll have the a balls. plate ready for you. And then Jason that. Kelsey and Jalen Hurts is gonna run the tush push all over that Christmas table, boy. They ruined their Christmas. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. You should have taken your twenty k while you had the chance. Yeah, shout out to the plumbing company. And lastly, to cap off, uh, we'll take their twenty k. To cap off Christmas in week sixteen, there's more there's Christmas the, games. This is the last one. <laughs> oh no, you're not going to say that when I say these matchups. Is this? It's oh. it probably going to be the game of the year. Maybe the Super Bowl matchup. Oh, Potentially, yes. We got the Baltimore Ravens. You know, who I on them. the road, take on San, oh, San Francisco 49ers. Where the Niners are five and a half point favorites. Right. And the Ravens are five and a half point dogs. And for some of the reasons I was explaining earlier, and I know I post some of the spread the bread segment separate from our episode. So if you're watching on the spread the bread video, go back and uh, listen to the episode. The run game is relied on by the Baltimore Ravens, even though they've been tossing the rock. The run they game, can. Their run game is strong. I think the Niners are going to shut that bitch down and going to keep doing what they've been doing. I got the Niners. Say what you guys say, because I know who you're going to say. Big trust. He's him. A real MVP is in the building. There's a real MVP in the building playing quarterback for one of these teams. Yup. Hand me that. Big trust. Yup. Give me the Baltimore. Look at the camera. Yeah, Ravens, baby. Fly, Ravens, fly. Flock, dude, flock. Flock, Ravens, flock, yeah. Boy, I got Ravens going to win the game. Okay, straight up. Bad known the year. I got one on my damn back. He be at the, the game. Smoking flock. <laughs> Yo, you think they're going to walk in there with that? The Niners? They could try, they but got to. Kodak would be on the sideline of the Ravens if he was um, having Kodak a choice. Kodak kind of fucked with them. Yeah, he'd be at their games on their side. Oh, the Niners, too. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I don't care about them. It's a big Kodak game. It's a huge Kodak game. We could have been superstars. That That's why I'm going with the 49ers. Nah, that game's at least a three-point game. Because Debo's got something to say to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what else? We're going to switch because Purdy a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Psych! <laughs> Uh, that's the MVP you're talking about. All right, that was week 16 already. Fucking, we're almost there, man. 